But let's talk sports. Let's mm-hmm. talk sports, which is why we're here. Uh, and absolutely... Okay, first is first. Liverpool, are they totally out of the... Oh, yes. They've been out since the Everton game. I've told they've been out since the Everton game. I love how Everton fans reacted. They said Liverpool lost the title and got to Zimbabwe. Well, which is true. <laughs> I which I mean, it was very... Mm. It was hilarious. Mm. It was hilarious. Yeah. But I think for me, that Liverpool... I don't know if you saw the... Um, squabble between no everybody saw it now the whole world saw it. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's a big deal though. Well, I don't think it's a big deal. I think deal. it's very uh, on salutary. I think it's, That's I think funny. it's um, what's the word I'm looking for here? I think it's um, rather, it's less than dignified, and I, I, and if I'm going to label blame. Or portion blame, I, I'd, I'd say that I'm disappointed in Mosala. Why? Your manager is your manager. Does it matter? No, but you're a professional. Between you and I, you said, you asked me a question about if Liverpool are out of the title race. Mm. So at the back of your mind, Liverpool are still in the title race. Now, in a game against West Ham, you're mm-hmm. still in the race because if you watch Pep and watch Ateta, because they haven't won the title, they're still playing their first team players. Mm. They are reserved. You can't come in yet until we win the title. No, no, no. Why would you put? No, but what, what, why although you, people will Salah's say it's not, be, not been scoring. He's not uh, scored but for the question is, games. Haaland has not been scoring. But doesn't Pepsi play Haaland? I'm yeah. not comparing players. I'm only saying the mindset but, of your manager. Haaland came off the bench and scored. Uh, because came he came off the bench. No, he that came, means he started on the bench because he was injured. Uh, but whatever, Salah hasn't been performing. Is Salah I, injured? I, 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 well, whatever it's, it's not been sparking on. You, hey, know. you don't you don't know when he will spark. You don't know when he will pick Look, that. Well, you know, you, don't know. you know. But at, for me, the manager is the manager, and I think I think I Salah, agree. I think Salah disrespected his manager. I, thought, I think uh, Musala is one of the most professional players that no, I've ever seen. No, up till now, no, he's always been very no, professional. I don't think so. Musala has opt- for me, so. at least with Liverpool, even with Egypt, as far as I accept. No, I think he's been. I think the times when what's the word when you always you're about to say you Cora. Uh, Cora, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. in English. I dare to say Cora in English. Cora in English is uh, prickly. Mm-hmm. Um, does it does it equate to Cora? Uh, your man Cora, that means a uh, irritable. Mm-hmm. Okay, irritable. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, is a director. Because yes, yeah. I remember his, the squabble yes. with what um, Manny. Uh, Manny, yes, he yes. used to have them. Yeah. He used to have them. So it was like, I'm the child. I'm your favorite son. Put me, mm-hmm. give me the game I want. Yeah, but Don't. then they, for you to show that, you no, know, I think show dissent, outright dissent to your it manager just, that the whole world can see. It was just, it's just. Did you have pictures though? I'm surprised you are saying this. You have everybody who talks about no, because you you talk about passion. And what yeah, Salah was showing do, was passion. That was a discipline. In no, discipline, it was passion. passion. I want to play. And so when the Brainer did the same, strong off your manager. When the Brainer did the same thing, we all said, "Oh, well, okay, you have to understand, keep him in good." It's yeah, the I same thing. The Brainer said, "Look, I want, they're not saying they are, they want to train, they want to play, because at this time you need your big players for this running." I think it's a discipline. And at least, thank God. Um, you have that kind of thing. United, we don't have any such passion whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you take a player, just looks at the ground, and he doesn't want to play anyway in the first place. Even when he's on the United first United played this weekend, around. right? What now? United played this weekend. Yeah, they did, and drew to Burnley. And Burnley <laughs> should have won the game. I mean, you know, and then you see the manager talking. So I think, I'm, so, I'm sorry to say, I hate accusing people falsely, but I think the Hag is on crack, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I think that guy takes drugs before his, before during and after his uh, press conference. Because what he comes out with, in fact, I don't know. But he says facts now that United. He says what now? He says facts. He now. says about what facts about facts. what? Facts now that United are one of the most entertaining. Teams yes, I didn't know world. entertaining. Well, if you want something to laugh, if at, you are the neutral, they're entertaining. No, they are. They're, 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 because they're comical. that game, if you are looking for, United had no if business. If you're looking for comic relief, or yes. United are there. United you, had no. If you are having a bad day. And you want somebody to cheer you up? Say, ah, let me watch you United. <laughs> <laughs> you do understand? Because even for my, for me, who had the fa- I had the fantasy, and I had Dalo in my oh, team. You have um, fantasy Premier League. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay, okay, I thought. Let's stick to it. I know. I thought I United were going to keep a clean sheet. The and then one. the next thing I saw was Onana giving away penalty, and I just shook when I said, ah, this guy. Yeah, but that was all Casemiro, no? And, you know, it's stupid. <laughs> I beg, that's what I said. <laughs> I well, like for the neutral well, you know like, what happens to United. It's only one United. It's only I'm one United. You. United's <laughs> problem, and it always happens is that, and I hear in the stadium, you know, we always get a situation where fans start to quarrel among themselves. That's what happens all the time, because um, some some fans, maybe the majority now, still now, are ten hagging, but a growing minority and vocal minority are ten hag out. I'm I'm one of the minority that wants him out because I'm 
for, for me, I'm just sick of him. I'm sick of his excuses. I'm sick of a lack of play. I'm sick of the fact we struggled against Coventry, struggled against Sheffield United. Championship side, Sheffield United Championship side. Bond, they are probably going to relegate a Bond in with the drag with for Old Trafford. Ah. Let's 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 do the let's do the numbers and yeah let's do the numbers and you know and move on because there are many other leagues for us to talk about yes, PSG so won their yeah, league yes. 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 yes yeah and then MPFL mm-hmm. uh, MPFL yeah. there's been a shape up there we're, yeah. we're going to go in the NNL Rangers. as well aha uh-huh. so yeah. at least from the NNL we know there's a play of super eights five teams have qualified mm-hmm. so we're down to three more teams to join and two Lagos teams are part of those three mm-hmm. that could join them then do we have anything on the latest unfortunately it's probably is in the studio. Bashali's latest. There's something. Uh, well, there's something from the ministry. Some, uh, yeah. We can I'm, give. We can give him a call if you want. It's probably. Let's not wake him up. It's Monday. <laughs> All right, you can be a part of the show this morning. Uh, send us. I know people come and say Vinicius with um, uh, Vinicius. What's his son again? Vinicius Junior. What now? Junior. Uh, that's not his son name, but that's uh, whatever. Yeah. Vinicius Junior. So that's it. At least. Maybe Vinicius now. Senior. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> you know. And they say that's making a fuss. I mean, why would you make a fuss? I mean, it's absolute nonsense. Meanwhile, the boy gets whistled. I'm uh, sorry, the boy gets racially abused, and then he, then the, the crowd is on his back for the rest of the game. Mm. I beg, maybe these Span- Spanish people go hold themselves, Jerry. It's disgusting. Well, but I just want to find out: Does uh, Bashali have up to one million dollars? I doubt it. I think it's because he doesn't have that is making all this. You know, I, to be honest with you, it's a non-story for me because I feel this is someone that's looking. He's desperately seeking attention. Mm. You understand? And maybe. What he needs is an intervention from his family. His family members should call him and say, Daddy, <laughs> Kilo Gogono, what, what is the problem? Kilo Gogono. What, what is going on? The major question I ask is, why go... Because we had the same story with the former minister. Yes, we did, yes. So mm. now there's a new... Is it that every time a minister comes exactly. in, you go to say, yeah. look, I want to fight, support my big But is it that relevant that he could, he could say, accuse a minister of coming to him to organize... <sighs> Is it that relevance that in world the football theme. now? That is the theme, uh, world of, the, basket, that's the theme of the intervention. The family members, his children, and sit and say, Daddy, what is the problem? Is it is it that, uh, you know, do we need to up your the, your, the groceries I will send to you? Or what what is what is the what is the problem, Gogo? They need to just have you know that you know what an intervention is, and when you find your friends, they kind of trick you or mm. lure you to a place, then your whole family and your closest friends are there. You know, and they sit and say, hey, Udua Kayode, why do you have this need always to be the forefront like of attention? Kayode too many oh, information. Sorry, um, we're planning, this is what we're planning like for that, Kayode. I'm sorry, <laughs> I meant to say Bassani, I said Udua Kayode. Yes, don't, that's, what, that's our plan for <laughs> him. Why do you always need to be the center of attention? <laughs> Give me a problem, <laughs> what is your problem? Kayode is just walking one day. We say we have a gathering. We just <laughs> 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 And everybody is sitting there. Come and take sweets. Come and take sweets. <laughs> <that's laughs> All your friends and family. All your friends and family. <laughs> all members of the sports zone. Oh, but I right. everybody is there. Those church members. <laughs> well, your church members. Mommy is there. We are to sit down. Uh, what is your problem? Is <laughs> and then we use Uruba to speak. Joko, see me. Joko. The sorry thing, you don't speak in English. You don't speak in vernacular. You speak in vernacular. We all see you. They see sit on the floor. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> everybody, one by one, they start talking to you. They start talking to you. They might be new Laura. That is very dressing down. Very dressing so yeah. I think I think that's what oh, Uncle Bash yeah. needs. I beg, yeah, Uncle Bash will free us. I mean, it's good for entertainment value. It's good mm. for newspaper columns and all yeah. that. But hey, but at the end of the day, uh, um, uh, the the senator is a lawyer. You understand of repute, and he's giving me a week to apologize. Mm. Otherwise, it's going to take the matter up. You understand? Yeah. Uh, Marshall is what sixty eight already. <laughs> Sixty-eight going on seventy-eight. He's sixty-eight. I thought yes. it was older. I thought it was 68. older. Sixty-eight. Mm. So, so I think in the, I think at 68 you want to still I know that we always say oh a man's dream is good but we just spoke about Mike Tyson and said look Tyson pack it up mm, yeah, it's you okay know. you're almost 60 pack it up do something else mm, you know <sighs> you know I, I don't know as I said for me it's it's, it's a non-story I meet a private meet private companies mm. to support you why must you meet the yeah. federal government and, and well, even I, if you have the reputation I'm sure you could get people to rally around you and do a, a novelty bout so that why meet the federal government exactly. why meet the federal ministry in fact that's the word it's a novelty it's a that's novelty, the word. Yeah. a novelty so, is a sideshow yeah. it's entertainment it's not and if you not have the real. clout you should be able to get private sector to support you not necessarily yeah. go to the federal government yeah. to say you have and to you, and in fact you have a record of harassing you know, um, the, the sports ministers don't mm. know whether they did it that long, but you did it with SD. You know, now you're doing it with uh, uh, Senator, mm. uh, uh, you know, yeah. Senator John Eno. Uh, Senator John Eno. So it's really, I think, I think I should, I think I should step it down. 
Uh, funny, to, we're going to come to domestic league right now, but something stood out to me in the Rome, the Napoli Roma game. Tammy Abraham's equalizing. Do you know mm -hmm. it's like Tammy Abraham's going to play for Nigeria? Yeah. But they quickly gave him one or two cards for England after that. They forgot his existence. <laughs> He can't even if they are, if they are calling the squads were have uh, were allowed fifty players to go to the Euros. I don't even think he will be called up. If you have fifty, twenty six now. Should be able to make fifteen now. Sorry, should be able to make fifteen now. They do. It's not even in the reckoning <laughs> anymore. Do you grab? It's not. They will call up a Berichi easy before they yeah. call him. It. You understand? And, and the sad part, this guy could have played for Nigeria, and we're trying to woo him then. But hey, he's lost. I think well. injuries have also played. I don't think. I don't think he's better than Watkins. That's my opinion. But I think injuries have also hey, played. You know, the truth about it is, even before the emergence of Watkins and uh, Tony and Tony and Co, he was kind of in the very, yes, very. Yes. But once he left Chelsea, I went to Roma, where he didn't do particularly bad, badly under Mourinho. Mm -hmm. But the point I'm trying to make is that they called him and made sure he couldn't. They compromised his chance of playing for the yeah. Super Eagles, and hey, Preston is no longer relevant. Hey. Wasn't it the one that the former president said, or oh, he had given his green, he was going to play for Nigeria? And then, yes, as he spoke to the father, it was, so, yeah, it was the one, family, yeah, yeah, it was so. the one because I remember when he said, mm. and then next to the manager, I think, I think Paul he knows, uh, the, you yeah, know, the I father, think the, the manager, family. the manager, Paul Clement, now said, This was a Swansea that guy, mm. think about it. And then Lampard, everybody now said, Oh, he's going to play for England. Mm. Yeah, well. It was a messy situation I, back I, then, you like me now, yeah. Well, the messy, yeah. Um, I saw this, the story about the NFF. We all said, Oh, two weeks, the minister, the president said, By the week, we still haven't gotten a, a manager mm. yet. No formal announcement. So what? So, so what's that story about? It are, are they saying? Okay, first is let's 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 um, do a deep dive on it and look at it in the levels of the story. Now, the ministry which you had that have mm -hmm. said they are not ready to bankroll. Yes, a foreign coach. a foreign coach, which for me is fair enough. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. You cannot have what you. I mean. As you did, so mm -hmm. would you not like to have a chauffeur, a chauffeur to drive you up that wears livery, a cap, and everything, and drives up and down? Do he likes to hold the steering. Uh, sorry, no, I don't like, like it. I steering. don't know. I don't like it. I, <laughs> sometimes I used to tell you how I complain about <laughs> that. Do you understand? I don't I want you to for, for, for you while you're in the seat. Yes. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you know that's uh, you have to have a budget for that. Yes, I, yes. Since you don't have a budget for, you don't have one, do you? Mm -hmm. And you don't come to us in the studio say that we should mm -hmm. pay for a driver for you. I don't mind, but no, shame but will not allow not. me to do that. I don't mind, but shame will not allow me to do that. Before you become what I shame, do you not? Who do you want to ask? I'm looking at the eagle on it. I'm looking at the eagle. We are not doing it. I'm saying the eagle is the, is the example I want to follow. <laughs> we, are, we are not doing it. So you understand? Mm -hmm. So the sponsor has said, oh, ha, do not think it. Mm -hmm. We are not paying. Mm -hmm. Which is fair. So that means, so the argument for a foreign coach is now moot. Yes? No. Is it not moot? No. No, why is it not If moot? NFF can afford it. If the it. NFF can afford it. Uh, but Okay, can they afford it? Yes. They can afford it. Because there's no reason why Mr. Shegu Agbede would, cannot afford a Lamborghini or any fancy car, luxury car, and still puts it as part of the things he wants to buy. That's not wishful thinking. That's that's failed thinking. For you to put it there, that means there's some form of angle where the money is going to come from. Really? Yes. I do believe that. Where, where, where? <laughs> because if they're going to do a short list, Mm -hmm. Instead of if you if you don't have the money for a foreign coach, you would have put more local coaches on that list. Mm -hmm. You put two foreign coach and one local coach. Mm -hmm. That means to some way there's someone that's going to back you to pay that foreign coach. Because that and foreign not, coach and not the sports ministry. And not the sports ministry. But remember, and you won't be owing as you've owed your previous two foreign coaches. No, but even the, no, but, but even the to cast. but even the last one, uh, the ministry did not pay him as I went due. Uh, no, uh, so it means even the ministry was going to Ogbesi. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying now that so Who was paying Pascal. It was the ministry. Because Sonny Dari said he was going, the ministry was going to take up the responsibility. Mm. Before that, mm. uh, it was Aiteo. Mm. And we know the stories with Aiteo. I'm saying that it's not rocket science. And I've given the example of South Korea. Young Klinsman, I think it's Hyundai or Kia, that they pays. Take it up. Yes. Mm. Somebody can take it up and say, we'll pay the basic. Somebody mm. can, but has somebody done? Yes. Aiteo has. I can do. Aiteo has. Because no, Aiteo had. I'm talking about now. Are we owing Raw now? No. no has Raw no, carried us to court? No. Well, no, I, I accept. Mm -hmm. Raw and uh, Pacero have come and gone and yeah. paid off. I'm saying going forward, mm. can the NFF afford? Yes, I believe so. Look, yes. Oh, well. Because before I used to be of the opinion that ah, we don't have money. That's Once I realized that, it, it, there's no way. Cardi cannot be saying he doesn't have money. Yes, he's going to go for vacation. That means you have money somewhere. Which is true. And Where is he planning it? Exactly. So you have money somewhere. So let's just go for the best. And if the best is a Nigerian coach, fine. The best is a foreign coach, which I'm tilting towards now. 
Let's go for the foreign coach. But if we can't afford the foreign coach, we can afford it. No, if we can't, no, if we can't, are you in their pocket? Are uh-uh. you in their mind? Since the minister said they will not pay, did the NFL yeah. back off from the foreign managers? No. How do we know that? What? But that's is that not the essence of that story? No, the essence of the story is that the minister is trying to push for it. And I and I say this because a lot of times I think we always say ministers are to advise, mm-hmm. ministers are to supervise, not to instruct. Mm-hmm. I say this because Sonny Dari, we've seen him do. The reason why I believe the story a bit, Sonny Dari has instructed, we've heard him say, Let's do local. So have you heard this minister say? So? He has not said it. Uh-huh. But so why the would reason you why give the story? Because why would you of give the story any credibility. Because of because the about? minister is putting mouth in this story. Remove uh, your mouth from it. Let them decide. Is the but is it wrong for the minister to say, okay, in my view, this is the best candidate. I believe you should go for this in person of Amonike. Uh, on that, what what's his expertise? Is he does he know the job more than the technical committee? Has he played the game? Has he administered over this game? No, maybe he's listening to Sports Zone and he says, "Hey, looking at what Sports Zone says, that he's more qualified. Let's go for it." No, him. he's not or the maybe, most. No, Sports Zone didn't say he's the maybe, most qualified. No, yeah, maybe it's maybe it's listening. Only, only yes, Shabba Bede says he's the most qualified person. Sports Zone. No, but Sir Charles also says he's the most qualified. No, the most qualified Nigerian. Yeah, coach. I mean that's what I mean. Uh, Nigerian the coach. List, yes, he's not the most qualified. No, no, but, in terms of Nigerian coach, which is what we are tilting towards. Why are we tilting towards Nigerian no, no, coach? But, but that's the reality no, but, right now. No, it's the reality we are dealing with, not the probabilities. How they know? Not no, the wishes. No. How they know? No, what do you mean? No, no you until, even, even the story says that they are considering uh, Finidi George, which is a local coach. Kade, that they've, Kade, it seems like Kade, they've jettisoned the Kade, other no, one. Let's carry. Let's 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 arrange ourselves well. Mm. There are three guys on the list. Okay, two of them are foreign that managers. That story doesn't say anything about three guys. No, if I'm you're saying that, that story. You, no, you I'm saying. Believe part okay, of the story. Don't okay let me the okay let me ask you this question. Now. Yes, when you spoke to your source. Did he tell I don't you know who he said it on Monday night football? That's what he said on Monday. He said it to the no, world. It, it, to the uh, but there are some things that you talk behind the scene. I know you. Uh, I know you. Victor has told me nothing. Do you know how many times I've seen him? Do you know how a guest has come into the office here? But we're having an interview and then we close the microphone and then the ego just turns around and says, So what do you think? And then even like, some really exactly direct questions. Yes. Right? So I'm saying that did mm-hmm. he tell you there are three names on the list? That's what he told the whole and he world. said no I, I, yes, <laughs> that's, that's what he told the whole world did he also tell you two of them are foreign managers yes that's what he told the whole world so why did they put foreign managers on the list if they don't have the money to no but they've come, it's not about the money i think we've gone past that just what this nfl person says is that they are not paying so they've chosen or they no, appear no, to no, have no no you know what he's saying Femi, the, Femi, can, can we go back to the story again yes. can you read the story again please? he's saying the minister just read the story uh-huh. so we can and then Let's see, and it's and I'm sure it's an unnamed source. So, do you mm-hmm, understand? Yeah. Uh-huh. So, a top official yes. has official. accused Sports Minister John Enoch so of putting pressure uh-huh. on the NFF to appoint his own candidate, yes. Emmanuel Amunike, yes. as the new Super Eagles coach. Okay. There are now quotes that says the minister clearly wants Amunike to be mm. the next coach of the Super Eagles. He has given, he has even gone ahead to accuse the NFF of being biased. Because because they do not consider Munike as the best man for the job. But don't don't forget it, it says that the NFF Technical Committee has named a Yimba coach to... Finidi George as the preferred choice. That's what I'm that's what I'm referring to. So they've gone for Finidi George according to Finidi this George source. will be assistant. We've all we no, according I, I to this source. Femi, Femi is, but we are believing this source I, now. Which exactly. says the minister they took mouth. I don't believe this story. In a, I don't. I the source of the story, by the way, is called Nigeria. So let's give credit to who reported okay. the story. I, I, fine, but I, I'm sorry, I don't believe it. In any, I don't believe it. It, it's. You don't um, think, you don't think the minister is spoke No, I don't. You don't think I don't. the minister because on the one hand it says the NFF two mm. has given the job to to Finidi, Finidi George, and yeah. according to but my the minister, source, yes, uh, Victor <laughs> Pell, on he said Finidi said is not even the shortlist. So I, therefore, I don't believe the story. Okay, all right. Uh, so it's a, to me, it's a non-story. Okay. Nico, let's look at the NBA. Mm. I don't believe okay. the story. All right. Mm. I think <laughs> people, some people. I think they should add that uh, uh, story to the list of people that the lawyers should look at. If I say the minister goes to plenty people, uh-huh. she just be ready. The lawyers, <laughs> will, the lawyers will work well. <laughs> they will collect. They work. They, they will collect hours. Ah, they work very well. He has a lot of work to do. <laughs> I beg, let's look at the NPFL. Chai. What's what's going on there? Well, there are some very interesting games, by the way. Um, the usual suspect did. I think for me, the surprise was that Aqua United victory. I'm, I'm funny. I just went out on a limb there. You know, I just believe that you know some incredible results. The one I should have been myself with should have been Doma Quara. I should have known that Doma is very dirty, really dirty. But that's a surprise though, because um, 
uh, caterpillars have been resurgent of late, and Aqua United literally wiped the floor with them. But um, good for them, good for Aqua. And at least I, I got one prediction right in the MPFL. I think what surprised me the most was the Sporting Lagos game against um, Abia Warriors. Um, I know it's a new manager, but I always thought that when you get a new manager, the response is always instant. Like you, you feel the results immediately. New manager, they lost. Man. Yes, they lost away from home. I think Katina United was their previous game. Mm-hmm. You come to Lagos, you were 2-0 up against Abia Warriors, the coasting. Second half, Abia Warriors turns it around 2-2. I didn't see the game, so I'm not speaking from the point of watching the game. I'm not speaking of based on the stats the and final, everything. Was it a draw? Was that the final? No, it was 4-2. Two. So they had to sports in Lagos. Yeah, so they had to yeah. fight back to score two. So yeah, but, defensively, the problem still exists. No, but they got all three points at the end of the day. Which uh, no, most? but defensively, that's been the problem of sports in Lagos this season. That games where they should see of their opponents. I've seen games, a couple of games I've seen this season of Sports in Lagos. You should bury your opponent. I saw the game against Bielsa United. I'm like, kill them. They're there for you. Bielsa United were pick, people were picking up Bielsa United and throwing mm, them off. And for the checking. Yeah. You were there doing, should we, should we not? Should yeah, we, should we not? Should we, should maybe we this, not? But this, you could read from both sides. I mean, you know, because if you flip the narrative now, yep, it's a race it to a two goal lead. We're doing real really well then they considered two but hey maybe under Paul of just saying because as I said I, the Paul of us interview we had here was one of our best to really solid guy and all that maybe they would have ended up drawing that game but they, they put themselves together and popped it two more and one for two so maybe yes maybe they need to tight, tighten up defensively but maybe just maybe they're more incisive in attack you know less profligate so that's the way to look at it. The major thing is that because the the strategic imperative at all times in the MPFL is win your home games. Everything that happens on the road is a toss up. Anything can happen from spending days on the road and uh, uh-huh. facing arm robbers and kidnappers, getting them exhausted, to hostile fans, to dodgy reps, whatever. You know, those are the issues that this club face. Or just not having their rights mental being in the right frame of mind to face the game for whatever reason so basically you should so once spots in lagos i'm sure the owners will be quite happy that they're picking up home wins regardless of how it comes about they'll look at the nitty-gritty of it later um by the way sports in lagos on the mpfl table at 11 32 games played so there is 41 no points. way shape or form in danger of relegation no that's mm-hmm. not true no, uh-huh. yeah, they are Oh, they are? Okay. Yes, they are. They're just, what, four points away from the drop. Okay, that's, yeah. For, sorry, I've forgotten <laughs> the consistent yes. effect of the MPFL. Yeah. yeah. yeah just like, uh, how many teams yeah. do we have in the title race? Quite a few. Yeah, we have uh, Rangers, 57. Aimba, 35. Remo has have played Aimba, one 55. game. Sorry, 55. Yeah, 55. Um, Remo, 31 games, 53 points. With the game in hand. Yes. Shooting Stars, 32 games, 52 points. Lobby has the same what number. I had last week, couldn't just go and lie down for hours. So yeah, it's it's crazy in the way things go. One thing I do enjoy, and I think we need to create a, uh, we need to make it consistent, is playing games Friday or Monday, mm. depending on the area. The game in the Kenya on Friday, I think it was nine hundred twenty-two Remo Stars. The idea behind it is very good. We need to give fans the opportunity to because a lot of media people travel around especially if you can put those games in the same vicinity mm-hmm. imagine if you're going from Ikene to Lake Salami mm-hmm. to Lagos there's this sort of triangle mm-hmm. it's easy for you to get to Ikene then take a yeah, can I just listen, then take a train back yes yeah. so you can watch three games I, I, I like the idea of Friday night mm-hmm. maybe Monday not too much based on our culture and tradition but I like the idea of Friday night football and if we get good areas like Lagos for example it's a good venue for Friday night football Ikena is a good venue for Friday night football. I haven't been at the Lake on Salami for a bit. Yeah. So I can't speak about what their Friday night vibe is like. But I think that those areas are looking very good. So also, maybe in the southeast, if you give fans that opportunity to be able to watch games in and around the same area, it would not be a bad idea. Long term for the football, my opinion, anyway. Yeah. So how many games to go in the league? With um, we've got six games, right? Um, but we know that the league is going on break because of Rivers United. So How does River, that work? I don't understand. So Rivers United have got an outstanding of about what five games? Yeah, five games. They played twenty six matches. One of which they're playing today. today. One of, yes. So then they will play through all those games. My only problem is the league doesn't resume until the twenty fifth, if I'm correct, twenty second, twenty fifth of May. 
that's a long period yeah and you should not we say this every time but we always do the same things when you're playing continental football don't have this many amount of outstandings too many you have to find a way to reduce it so that way now rivers united they know what they need because if Rivers United win all doesn't, their games... Doesn't that give them an unfair advantage? Yes, it does. I think it does. If we're talking five games, five times three is 15. 15. Jesus. I mean, mathematical goal. And um, if they score 15 points as they are like this, they'll be how second. How points do they have now? They are 40. I'll take them to 55. Yes. That'll put them... They'll level on points with, with uh, Aimba. Aimba. Exactly. But, but as we all know, some of those games are going to be away for the chances of... They I don't mind five. three games. But I think... Five is a lot. I've, that's because they played one last I think, week. I think that's against the spirit of the game. I'm I'm not um, accusing the MPFL of any bias or anything. But I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's some form of um, organization. Mm-hmm. There's an, organ- has there's to be an organizational imbalance. Yeah, has to be better. We, it, we can do. We can do better. Has we to be better. Because I don't think it's right that the team now just has knows exactly what they have to do. As five games are achieved, it, it gets as it be. The Nigerian National League, for those who don't know, remember, four teams will get relegated from the NPFL. Um, four teams will get promoted from the NNL. Uh, so, there are about, what, four conferences, conference A, B, C, and D. C and D have been completed. That's the northern part of Nigeria. El Kanemi Warriors have qualified. They're topping conference C. They'll be joined by Nasarawa United for the Super 8 playoffs. In conference D, Sokoto United are leading. Mm. They'll be joined by Sporting Supreme FC in the playoffs. Now, in the conference... Where is Sporty Supreme FC based? They're in Abuja. Okay. Yeah. Um, from what I do know, Conference A and Conference B... Right? I'm going to have to be very quick with this. Um, Madiba FC have qualified from Conference A. Beyond Limits are the second team in Conference I A. I like that team. Beyond yeah. Limits. They are the feeder team of Remo Stars. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. I've guessed. Um, nice. 1472, the Lagos team are currently in the relegation zone. That's for Group A. For... B, two Lagos teams are leading. Ikorodu City, they're first. Inter Lagos are second. Both of them stand a strong chance of qualifying, but it's not Both done. Of them? Yes. For the playoffs. Okay. For the playoffs. Uh, but there's Crown FC or Shun United, Ijebu United, all around there. That space to at least get something. So the final few games, because what, there will be 20 games. So we've played 18 so far. Final two games or three games, depending on which we determine. We need to go for a break now. If you want to be a part of us, first off, follow us across all social media pages at Lagos Talks 913 is our handle. And of course, kindly like, share, subscribe, and make sure you're part of the Lagos Talks family. Mm-hmm.